Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do a lesson 1.4 round numbers and our essential question is how can you round numbers? So let's unlock the problem. During May 2008, the Mount Rushmore National Monument in South Dakota welcomed 138,202 visitors. A website reported that about 100,000 people visited the park during that month. Was the estimate reasonable? Okay, here he says underline what you ask it to find. So here we'll underline this. Was the estimate reasonable? And circle the information you will use. We will use that number 138,202. And he said it's about 100,000. We will need this too. So we will circle also 100,000 people. An estimate tells you about how many or about how much it is close to an exact amount. You can round a number to find an estimate. So here he said it's about. It means this is an estimate and we want to know if this estimate is reasonable or not. Okay, one way using a number line. To round the number to the nearest 100,000, find the 100,000 it's between. So this is 138,202. It means it's greater than 100,000 and less than 200,000. So this is between 100,000 and 200,000. Okay, we will use the number line to see which 100,000, is close to. So this is 100,000, this is 200,000, in the middle 150,000. So 138,202, it must be something before the 150,000. This is the 140,000, so it's a little bit before the 140,000. Here 138,202 is closer to 100,000 or 200,000. Here it's closer to the 100,000 than the 200,000. So the 100,000 is a reasonable estimate for 138,202. Okay, here he asks what number is halfway between 100,000 and 200,000. So the number in the halfway in the middle is 150,000. How does knowing where the halfway point is help you find which 100,000, 138,202 is close to and explain? We can say that the location of a number relative to the halfway point helps you tell if it's closer to the lesser or the greater rounding number. We know that the halfway between the 100,000 and the 200,000 is 150,000. So any number between the 100,000 and 150,000, any number less than the 150,000 and more than the 100,000, is going to be rounded to 100,000. From 150,000 and more until the 200,000, we will round it to the 200,000. Another way, use place value. Mount Rushmore is located 5,725 feet above sea level. About how high is Mount Rushmore above sea level? to the nearest thousand feet. To round the number to the nearest thousand, find the thousands it's between. So this is 5,725. So it's between the 5,000. It's more than the 5,000, but it's less than the 6,000. Okay, look at the digit in the place value position to the right. To the right of the five, we have seven. And think the digit in the hundreds place is 7, so 5725 is closer to 6000 than 5000. So 
if the number to the right of it is one of the strong digits, we will round it to the bigger number. If it's one of the weak digits, we will round it to the smaller number. And let's remind you with the weak and strong digits. The weak digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the strong digits are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here we have 7, which is one of the strong digits. So we round the 5,000 to 6,000. So Mount Rushmore is about 6,000 feet above sea level. Here, what number is halfway between 70,000 and 80,000? So in halfway or in the middle, it's 75,000. Okay, what is 75,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000? It will be rounded to 80,000. Why? Since the 75,000 is exactly halfway between 70,000 and 80,000, so we will round it to the greater number. So any number from the halfway and more, we will round it to the greater number. Less than the halfway, we will round it to the smaller number. Let's try this. Round to the place value of the underlying digit. Here, 64,999, and we will round it to the 10,000s. Okay, first of all, any digit before the underlying digit will make it zero. So, one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three four zeros and look at the digit to the right of the six which is four four is one of the weak digits again the weak digits are zero one two three and four this is weak and from five and up five six seven eight and nine these are strong digits so four is weak digit so we will keep the 6. So it's 60,000. Letter B. We will make all of the digits to the right. Zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. To the right of the 8 we have 5. Which is one of the strong digits. So the 8 will be 9. So it's a 900,000. Here, any digit to the right of the underlying digit will make it 0, 1, 2, 3, so 3 zeros. To the right of the 1, we have 5. 5 is a strong digit, so the 1 becomes 2. And anything to the left, we'll write it as it is, so 0, 3. So it's 302,000. Here, to the right of the underlying digit, we have 1, 2, 3. So we'll make it three zeros. Then to the right of the zero, we have eight. Eight is a strong digit. So the zero becomes one. And anything to the left, we'll write it as it is. We have one at the left. So it's 11,000. And now share and show. Suppose 255,113 people live in a city. Is it reasonable to say that about 300,000 people live in the city? Use the number line to help you solve the problem and explain. Okay, now look at the number line. That 155,000, will it be before the 250 or after the 250,000? Sure, it will be after the 250,000. It will be in this place. So. If it's more than the 250,000, more than the halfway, we will round it to the greater number, which is 300,000. So we can say, yes, 255,113 is closer to the 300,000 than it is to the 200,000. So 300,000 is a reasonable estimate. Here, round to the place value of the underlying digit. Okay, to the right of the four, we have three digits. We'll make them three zeros. 
and to the right of the four we have five which is a strong digit so the four becomes five and i write the three and the nine at the left so it's nine hundred thirty five thousand here to the right of the four we have one two three four digits so four zeros three four to the right of the four we have one one is weak digit so we keep the four and don't forget to write the six so it's six hundred and forty thousand to the right of the two we have one two three four five digits so five zeros one two three four five to the right of the two we have three which is weak digit so we keep the two so two hundred thousand last one to the right of the four we have one two three four digits so we'll make them four zeros one two three four zeros and to the right of the four we have seven which is a strong digit so the four becomes five and don't forget to write the three so three hundred and fifty thousand okay hope you guys understand the lesson and if you are in my class we'll discuss on your own questions on the live session have a nice day and goodbye